monetizing opportunities open up to those people faster than this entrepreneur who's got a great business but nobody knows. Hello, digital marketing content creation, how did that change your life? I believe that if you don't share that unique experience with people, you may be doing a disservice to yourself in society at large. This is these are the 20 efforts that I took, and this is when things started working. And so, therefore, it is possible to be a family first successful entrepreneur. Hello everyone, I'm Shobhna Jay Madhavan, joining you from the unceded territories of Coast Salish peoples in the beautiful city of Vancouver in British Columbia, Canada. I am the Associate Vice President of Simon Fraser University. I am the Chief Impact Officer of Hashtag Code in Chennai, India, and the President of the BC India Business Network. I am delighted to join Avi Arya today. Avi is the founder of Internet Moguls, and we're going to have a conversation about many topics and we're going to kick off with some myth busting. So Avi, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for having me and thank you for doing this. Yeah, I'm just absolutely thrilled to have this conversation on Same a topic here. that you're very passionate about, entrepreneurship. Right. Uh, and you are, in my mind, the entrepreneur extraordinaire. And I've had the chance of uh, listening to you speak and uh, uh, speak with entrepreneurs, but also to experts in the field. Right. So I want to talk about something that is in the realm of uh, myth bursting. Right. What would you say are some of the common wrongs that uh, people do when they come to a place like Canada and they get into the field of entrepreneurship with the dream of becoming an entrepreneur? Right. That's a very good question. And uh, so a couple of things. It all has to go down to uh, the human level, right? Every, every time we do something, we first human and then we are entrepreneurs and then you know we're service providers or whatever. So at a human level, it doesn't matter what kind of entrepreneur, you feel judged and you have that imposter syndrome. Am I good enough? Have I done this as many times? So I've never made a million dollars. How can I tell? You know, how can I tell? How should how can I even talk to people? Hey, I made only a million dollars. How can I talk to people? By the time I made my first 10 million, somebody's made a billion. How can I talk to people? This story that your bet goes on in your head as an entrepreneur is never going to end. So you have to reverse it. And so that's what people do. People wait. The wrong that people do is that they wait for the world to validate them enough times. So if you validate me for a million dollars, I'll talk to the equivalent of $100,000. That's the kind of value that the entrepreneurs give to themselves. Now, in that time lost, there are other entrepreneurs who are hungrier to get known and because they get known, they get the most expensive, they, they have access to the most expensive currency today, which is not the US dollar, which is another human being's attention. And then monetizing opportunities open up to those people faster than this entrepreneur who's got a great business, but nobody knows. So that's one major mistake. The second thing is that uh, when people try to get out there and start talking, they generally feel that they need to have a camera in front of them and they need to have topics ready. Hey, I'm an introvert. Hey, I'm not an introvert, but I'm, uh, I don't know what to say. I've never said it. I'm not a public speaker. I don't know topics. How should I do it? Editing, video, YouTube. Overwhelm, all of this happened only in the entrepreneur's head because he's solving so many big problems and he knows that there are many variables that work together to make things happen, but all those variables can be outsourced. But when it comes to creating content, they get it wrong because they feel everything has to be done by them. Well, I feel the easiest way to do a conversation for an entrepreneur, for a personal brand to get noticed is to invite a friend, a colleague, a co-founder, somebody in your company, an intern, and have them have a free reading chat with you. Because then you that nothing is scripted. Whatever your life experience is, you're sharing with that other person. So for, for example, in a interview setting, if you ask somebody 10 questions, there's one question, one answer, there's one short Instagram reel or a small IGTV video, and three videos together could be one episode. So in one hour, you can at least do two episodes and 10 reels. So you have enough content for the whole week done. But they get it wrong because they feel everything has to be done by themselves. So these are the two things that I commonly see. Amazing. I mean, I think you've touched on something that probably globally people can resonate with 100%. in terms of the two mistakes that right. people do. I want to just dig a little bit deeper into the validation that people are waiting for. Would you agree it's tied to fear, fear in our minds? 100%. Uh, and... A lot of people say that fear happened because we were cavemen and there was a tiger, saber tooth tiger outside and that's why we still think that. I don't know. I don't know. I only take their word for it because some of them are 
experts and many people are saying it. there must be some truth to that but i think the you know the, the fear of being judged is one of the biggest fears that people have and yes it has to do with parenting and all of that but you can never completely remove it i mean there's nobody who's going to be born with the, with fears but it's a beautiful journey to embark on i am on a journey to become as fearless as i can every day by creating content what will happen how many views how many subscribers how many content how many comments is a is the secondary benefit the first is at the end of every shoot i have seen liberation in people's eyes i, I, I something you know there was a, i'm not i don't feel shackled anymore and then another half an hour the mind takes over them <laughs> back but for some time they feel uh so this fear of it's a, then it becomes fun because this is how i see it in my head so this is my mind and i can think hey you know what today i created two pieces of content and i think i'm feeling good and i'm going to now hire a team and i'm going to do this and i'm going to do more instagram and after three four hours i think oh my god i can't do it again i can't do it again but i've at least made a plan to do something next week then i'll execute 20% of it the next time i maybe go on stage and i'm feeling confident i speak in front of my board room my own team then i'll speak in front of a large team then i'll say i'm speaking in front of 500 people and that's how it happens and then you start understanding by the time you start getting off over this fear you start realizing that there is a like i think it was einstein uh, or nikola tesla who said that to understand the world you need to understand it's all frequency and vibration <laughs> so when you're on stage or when you're creating a video and you're talking to somebody even if it's a one on one conversation you realize that after a certain amount of time there's no script it is something that takes over and the what needs to be said is being said and your vibrations connect with people and then people send you comments saying thank you very much you changed my life hello digital marketing content creation how did that change your life not a spiritual guru or whatever yeah. but when you realize that any single human being who's walked the planet even for 5 years has a unique experience and that unique experience i believe that if you don't share that unique experience with people you may be doing a disservice to yourself and society at large by not sharing how you got over even that tiny bit of fear so yes it is fear but it's a uh, it's a beautiful game the process of trying to get over it amazing when oh, you touched upon even if you've lived just 5 years you have a unique story to say Absolutely. and i think the differentiator you know amongst people is a lot of people share their stories but very few have the gift of sharing their stories in an authentic and real way right. and i think your stories resonate with me and millions of people around the world because of authenticity can you just sort of explore that a little bit with me sure. as an entrepreneur why and how is authenticity uh a big deal so i'll answer this question in two parts one is uh, how and thank you for saying thank you for acknowledging that it gave me more fearlessness to be able to create <laughs> more videos when i get that validation uh two parts one is uh, what is being authentic as an entrepreneur and second uh, how i am working towards that in you know with myself and my company uh being authentic means uh it does not necessarily it does not necessarily mean that you are open about every private aspect of your life because that that is that journey is to be taken one step at a time because then yes there is social media backlash and all of that so being authentic just means that you you have the i won't say guts i'd say you have the power to be vulnerable to some extent to whatever extent you're comfortable with and share one anecdote I will not share anything about my family. I just tell you that we all get up in the morning at five o'clock and we pray together. For example, or I drop my kids to school, or this is what I do with my spouse. You know, we go for an evening walk with our dogs. So, for example, so for everybody who is listening to the answer of this question, I feel authenticity is to be able to sh- to let people in to another to your part to one a sneak peek into your world where you feel fear and other people connect with you saying, "Hey, I'm also like that." You know, so so there's a there's a vibrational on if you do this content and haven't met those people there's a vibrational handshake hey you know what and then there's a, and, and you feel it there's like people are saying thank you for saying that to me now my journey on being authentic so i always struggled with you know throughout my growing up years being extremely overweight and stammering so i wanted to share a lot but the first thing was people would laugh at the way i spoke so i I I would not even break through so let alone sharing a vulnerable story I can't even you know I can't so 
so that stopped me for the longest time and uh, but eventually when i got into work and entrepreneurship and i started following people who i really admired i realized that uh, my mom always said abhi your goodness is your strength <laughs> and i used to say mom really and she said never question that and obviously we had many conversations around goodness being your strength and all of that when i started believing it so now that's the time when i said uh, people who will like what i say will connect with me and then everybody won't so that gave me a big sense of fearlessness and uh, so that's when i started sharing about raya and abhiana and people can say whatever things because they're girls and people can comment and all of that so i try to keep divya away from the longest you know the thing but i still talk about her a little bit she doesn't like it very much but i still do a little bit but uh, so that being you know that every you, i'm a family person i was torn for so many years traveling back and forth i was torn every time i took a flight it was an emotional decision to leave the house here and then go for every single meeting i like mean, 12 times a year you don't leave your family and come back like once a year we go you know i'm feeling bad and then after two days you forget but 12 times a year going and coming going and coming so i was feeling torn and I, the outside world was all about uh, oh my god you doing so well on stage can i have a selfie with you and all that internally only thing was am i being a good husband am i being a good father that the only question and when uh, i worked very hard on it but obviously things have to happen the universe or whatever and when this when it started working in that favor that i am able to spend more time you know like all the time now at home and uh, with the family i want to share this you know i want to share and i said you know this is what happened this is these are the 20 efforts that i took and this is when things started working and so therefore it is possible to be a family first successful entrepreneur <laughs> amazing <laughs> amazing so i want to just wrap up with one last question going back to the theme of the myths and some of the problems new entrepreneurs have when they come into a country like canada so let's say there is an entrepreneur today they really want to start creating digital content in canada they don't know what to do in their first episode right suggestions beautiful because this this is i'm sure this this question is searched very often as well so uh, thank you for asking that question so when people come in unfortunately most of the time the thing that people get wrong is they feel that when we have to share content with people means that i have to show i'm an expert i've done something but the thing is the hero or heroine of the of the of a story in any movie is somebody who faced a challenge went back to their inner self and said should i be good or evil pick one choice and then took action and accordingly people labeled them as the hero heroine or the villain of the story that's so that could be that you landed from india or anywhere in the world or uh, you know uh, brazil or london or wherever you came to canada and uh, you realize that uh, the first rental basement that you booked is 50 kilometers from your downtown like, <laughs> how do you feel that time just document that start with that start with your dilemmas and then then what did you do did you still honor the what are the three month tenancy agreement or did you say you know what forget this i'm going to go elsewhere <laughs> and show that to people and people would people would people will follow you your dilemmas the challenge what you did what came out you know we all have a you know a good and a bad what did you pull out and then what happened and if you even if you made a mistake you know then say this is a mistake i made and i think you guys should not make it that connects you even deeper because a hero has to make mistakes otherwise the movie finishes right i did a very good job end of movie they won't watch the second episode so be vulnerable enough to share whatever's happening i went uh Forgot to get Canadian dollars. Got only Indian rupees. All got only uh, US dollars. Or uh, went to the college and uh, you know first day. And, you know I had my introduction ready, but I you know I started stammering uh, when I saw my uh, teachers because you know the accent was not. Uh, I stopped talking. You know I got cramped up because. So don't uh, being a hero means somebody who's facing struggles because that's when you watch the movie. A hero doesn't mean you know I walked into college and I <laughs> you know aced the exam or whatever. So when you come to Canada. Uh, uh talk about your struggles every day and talk about how you're not able to do it and somebody else is able to do it and how you want to learn from them or if you overcame something like you know for a lot of people it's getting their first compass card and taking the first sea bus or see i did it myself and that you know mom what i did so i came here and there's a bus and then the metro and i did that and i figured it out now the commute is 15 minutes you know like 3 for 3 hours it was so overwhelming that is a victory and a lot of people who are going to come are going to be able to shave off 2 hours from their commute just because of that one video of yours so hundreds of people will watch that video even not if it not maybe hundreds of videos people if everybody shaves off 2 hours from their commute by you sharing that 
you added him enough value as a content creator, as an entrepreneur, as whoever's coming to Canada. So anything that you're going through, uh, share it because others are going to be uh, going through that same uh, sort of a challenge as well. And that's when you'll be doing a service to yourself, everybody who's new to Canada, and uh, the platform of YouTube or Instagram, wherever you share this information. Amazing. Thank you so much for that, Avi. I'm sure that we're going to see a number of new Canadian entrepreneur videos and <laughs> reels out I, there. I hope so. I hope so. That's, that's, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I, I almost feel that I'm on a mission to tell everybody, where's your video, where's your video, where's your TED Talk, where's all of that. Like, go out there and share your message because, you know, like they say, your mess is your message. And don't wait for everything clean to make it happen. You know, like when I have the perfect house, I'll call you for dinner. Oh, I mean, if you're a friend, you come, you know, when it's not perfect and, you know, maybe together we'll build it better, make it better. So your mess is your message and whatever mess, whatever message you want to communicate does not have to be a perfect life. The imperfect life is what people resonate with and what with a life that everybody has. So go ahead and show it as much as you can. Thank you. That's amazing. Ah, thank you so much. Hi guys, Avi here. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It's so much fun bringing all of this to you. But honestly, it is difficult editing, post-production, getting people together. But when you watch till the very end, it feels great. So thank you very much. Now I'm going to give you something. An opportunity to connect with me and my ecosystem. I have an email called workwithaviarya at gmail.com. Now, what are the possibilities of working with me? Number one, if you are somebody who's liking this content that I'm putting out and saying, you know what, Avi, I want to get into your coaching. I want to get into your ecosystem. I want to understand how this works. I have a school called the Internet Moguls Business School, where we have two programs for entrepreneurs. Send me an email at workwithaviarya, subject Internet Moguls Business School. And then tell me about your business, what are the challenges that are happening. And accordingly, one of our sales consultants will call you, they'll tell you about your business and finally they'll connect you with me. And we'll see if you're the right fit to work together. Number two, if you want me to consult with you, just consulting one-on-one, -on -one, understanding your business, giving you a three-month, five-month roadmap. So work with Avi Arya, subject consulting, and then give me all the details about your business. Next. If you want my agency to help you, you could be a product or a service, a coach or trainer, whatever. You want us to help us set up your get known, get leads, get sales and set up a proper system for you. Then same thing, work with Avi Arya and in the subject you will write agency help. And in the end, tell me exactly what you want me to do for you and what are the challenges that you face. And if you want to work with me and my team as a freelancer, as a part time, full time, you know, get into the team, work remotely from anywhere in the world. Again, work with Avi Arya and say, I want to join your team and then tell me about yourself. Ideally, for all these things, when you put in a subject, follow it with a nice micro video so I know more about you. Because I check every email myself and I'd love to get back to you and connect you with the right people in the right company. So eventually when we talk, we have all these things figured out. Finally, if you want to interview me for your podcast or your YouTube channel, email me at podcastwithaviarya at gmail.com. So there you go. Two ways, two ways to connect with us, work with Avi Arya and you've got the multiple options and you've got podcast with Avi Arya and we can podcast together. So thank you very much for watching the videos. Don't forget to watch all these videos. Send me an email. Would love to hear from you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Avi Arya signing off for now. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. There's a link over here, which has got all my emails for you to get in touch with me as well. Click on the link and get in there. See you. Look forward to hearing that email from you. Bye for now.